We are back from Barton's. Yes, it is the next day now for you. A couple of hours later for me. Oh, what a lovely day. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope the video was any good. I've not even finished copying the files onto the computer yet. But it is now time to go through all of this stuff. This is everything that I got and a couple more bits actually because another collector gave me some stuff to another collector who drove down with me there. Ryan bought me a couple of bits as well from the lovely guy called Joe. So yeah, let's, <laughs> oh blimey, let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Oh, I'm all the way over here. We have a lot to go through. I mean, what do you do when you're literally given the run of a place and you know, as long as you've got the cash in your pocket to pay out, you can have what you want. Boy, do we have some stuff. Let's start off with this, since it is at the front. You probably would have seen it in some of the shots. And we need to clean it up. But yes, I got their SIBO mat, which we'll have to get the Tinko floor one on that and give it a vacuum and a shampoo. But yeah, that's, that, that's going to be my new back door mat. Very nice it will be as well. So, we'll pop that uh, over there somewhere. What else do we have? This is probably going to be a future video. This is from our good friend Joe. It's, it's lived under a storage unit for several years, along with actually something else in this part. What it is, it's an Electrolux 345 that's been painted green and then sadly broken. So I think the best we'll be able to do with this is, you know, piece it together enough you know, to turn it on and see if it runs. But hey, you know, comment down below if you would like us to go through that. We've probably got some other bits of it somewhere, so we'll pop it there and uh, when we find it, We'll find it. What else do we have? Well, we have ourselves a very nice 38mm hose, Ben 10. Here's one one, here's the other. They're, they're not like, matching or anything. They were, I grabbed them out as we were filming the bit by all the ones, really. Ah, and look, a nice 38mm floor tool. So, some point this year, we can get the CVT 570 or it is out. And, Oh gosh, these, these, these all need a bit of a clean. Oh wait, look, there's one more thing, look. I found that as well and took that. That's why that one's longer, look. That'll be it. There we go, that's a little bit better. I'll give them a clean off so they stick together fine. But yeah, we now have, I mean, we might have to get these out onto the wizard in a minute, but oh, right, let's put that there. <laughs> this is gonna take forever, folks. Oh, I hope you're ready for a long video. I am, I think. Oh, there's a moth. I hope that's not like the start of an infestation. What else do we have? This box, look, is a Hitachi hose assembly for a cv 5 d Ah, and this is a 38mm to 32mm adapter that we found as well. Yeah, this is a brand new hose, look, for a Hitachi. And I'll be honest, I've always needed the hose ends at least, so... This may or may not be chopped off, but yeah, it was there. I now have nice Hitachi hose, and obviously do shout if you need an actual hose, and I'll, I'll happily send it to you. What else is there? Well, this is, look, a brand new, I don't think ever used, I, just, I haven't looked that closely, yeah, look, brand new, never used Hitachi floor head. Oh, the lovely style that I do quite like. Look, the brushes actually move. It's not all rusty like they get. Brown, spanking new folks. Oh, how lovely. Will that be one day, perhaps? Back in there. All right. Um, ah, I, I also a hose end. My one of these is cracked and broken on this end for my Hitachi stowaway. So that's that. And there is another one somewhere. I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh, here it is. This look, which is actually a proper Hitachi hose, because you can see there but look it just accepts a nice twist fit and again you could probably take it off as well so that's quite cool couple of those they like to perish and break what else is there well you probably haven't failed to notice these ball works um 
I actually only wanted like one specific little part of it, but they're all in a cage together. And I was told that, you know, if you want one, you have to take them all. So I took them all, and I have no idea if they run or not. I think we'll just keep finding it throughout this video. And then maybe in another video, we'll see if they work. They're both VK135s. This one's from 2007. This one is from 2007. Very nice indeed. I, I say nice. I can't imagine they're particularly lovely. I imagine they'll probably work fine. They've both got a bag. Who knows? Not, didn't really want those. I <laughs> don't know if we'll keep them for very long or not. Ah, yes, I have one of these. Look, because on... In fact, yeah, I don't actually need that bit, but I got a one. Again, on the CDT, my trigger clamp is completely broken off. So, you know, we can take all this off. I can have myself a nice new trigger. How lovely is that? What's in here? These are four work bits. Certainly the bumper for a floor head there. Uh, I've no idea what these are actually. Comment down below. Who knows? I have those. It's a problem with me. I didn't put some of this stuff in my boxes. Whoopsie daisy. And um, two random handles. I think that's definitely from a 120, 121. Not sure. Looks quite fancy. Zero use to me. And then these are the handles from those two bodies there. Oh, there's a label look. What's this one? Doesn't say. Uh, two brush heads. I, I, I don't know. I can't read the writing. We don't really have time. But look, I can move closer into the shop. What's in this box? Oh, yes. This is, if you remember, that, you know, brand new, you know, never used. Battery powered oh, floor head with the battery. I still have my Makita charger for one of these, and actually, this one will fit normal stuff, I think. And it's got one of these horrible fits all things on it, but yeah, there we go. Look, we can have a bit of fun with that. You go there. So yeah, one of those. Very nice indeed. Ah, here's basically why I got all those raw works though. Remember from my complete raw work video do that. Oh, I didn't realise that one was missing its wheels. Could be a bit of a pain. I wanted one of these heads and now I've got two. These were on the machine. Yeah, one's pretty cream crackered. The other one isn't great. And they're both actually pretty bad but you never know they might spin we might be able to do something with them i mean nothing's been living in them they are filthy dirty and oh, i didn't fully realize one was missing at all never mind we might find one let's keep going through this box i have two of these actually let's see oh, here it is oh. one is for a vacuum that is coming and i think would suit this very nicely and the other one because pff, there were like 20 of them I'm going to buy another one. It would look very nice on an Electrolux, though. So that's those. What else have we got? Oh, look, we have an ET340. Genuine, brand new, never used top. So that would be cool. We, we might fit that to my ET340. Well, if we get this box out, we can put the stuff back in. This is an Electrolux 612, I think. Brand new hood. Yep, yeah, brand new. Never been used. This is actually for... One of our lovely mutual collector friends, so I'll leave that there. This is the back handle from a hot point. Uh, here's where we get into the little tiny stuff, because you know I've picked up so many of these sort of things. Like this is this is the bolt that makes the handle bail work on an old Hoover. It always wears down. And here are some nice genuine rubbers, because how many Hoover Juniors do we refurbish where it's all been painted? So, you know, I, I, I have several of these. I have, look, another automatic 345 head. They're always nice to have. This is for, again, another mutual good friend of ours. We have the Hoover that goes with this upstairs. So we might be able to do something with it. Nice. I think this is for the exclusive U1104 era series 80s machine. Nice. I'm broken one of those. We're actually going to put here so that we don't drop anything on it. What else is in the box? Look, more rubbers. Oh, blimey, this again is for another one of our mutual friends who I know will appreciate it more than I will. But look, 
brand new twin turbo hood. Oh, I can comment down below if you know exactly what model this is from, but hey, we have the hood for one here. Oh, very nice. Indeed. Uh, what else is in this box? We have, uh, again, many people have asked me if I have one of those, and now I do the thing that goes under the base plate on a Hoover Turbo Power 2. We have a couple of sets of brushes. Look, this one's for a flat belt junior cleaner. This one is for something, and there's two pairs of them, so that's very nice indeed. I think they'll be the long nose, the long senior ones. Another one of those. Ah, the washers that go, this did have a genuine Hoover sticker on it, the washers that go by the wheels on a junior. And then I think this is, you know, I could be wrong, a who uh, Electrolux 612 like front chassis where the wheels go and everything. And, we could tell, couldn't we? Theory, yeah, look at that. That all goes nicely together. These wear out something quite That's why, you know, I, I was asked if there was anything like that there. Please, may I grab it? So I did. Oh, gosh, right. Well, let's make a mess. And we'll start at least putting the stuff that we're going to look at another day, folks. I mean, I can't lie to you. Stuff like this is going to go in the shed, and we're not going to look at it for a little while, maybe not that because it's brand new, and yeah, like we'll go through it another day. I mean, things like I can, we can carry this on because there is another four work box. I mean, there's no motor and stuff like this. I'm probably not going to keep forever in a motor housing for 120 series. 120 run yet. Look, another one, no motor in it. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> Ah, how we laugh. Uh, yeah, the middle one for 121, 120, whatever. Ah, the motor fan case. Let me know if there's a weird in here. Bag bottom. Uh, that would be the adjustment rod, I think, for the inside. There's another handle. Oh, well, I don't know any of this stuff. Another motor fan case. That's the air diffuser that runs inside, and I think is also the bag full indicator. Although mine doesn't work very well on my on 3.5. Yeah, there's actually some more white stuff here. And another one. We particularly need to get that excited about. But hey, that is a full box that I can put to the side, ready to go outside and be dealt with another day. And I have somewhere to start putting stuff like this, which again is for, you know, another day. We'll go through it another day. How lovely. Let's show you stuff. You can go in there. Hokey dokey. Look, more space. How fabulous. Right, let's go through this box because it's actually quite simple, this one. Yeah, this box is mainly full of Electrolux brush rolls. There is this as well. Found this literally just laying in the box when we were walking out. A nice single pedal floor head, not battered, not bashed. We can clean this up and could go with my MV200, which doesn't have a nice forehead. And yeah, these are brush rolls. We have, in fact, this is for the Electrolux Z 152, 160, 170. Here okay, I think I know somebody with one of those. And then, yeah, we have lots of Electrolux Twin Turbo brush rolls. Like brand new ones, used ones, genuine ones, pattern ones, all sorts of ones. I don't think that, no, that's again 150, 160, 170. Yeah, there's so many. And the thing is, I get a lot of questions from people asking if I have this, if I have that. And one of the big things that people normally ask for is brush strips for these. So I saw these, you know, it was probably going to go for scrap if I didn't. So I'm probably not going to keep the actual rollers. I might do if they're good enough. But I'm going to wash all of these brush strips up and make them all available for sale because they need to be used, they need to be given a home. Also a couple of other bits in this box. Look, there's the rear springy bit for junior handle bale. We have a random junior brush strip. And these actually that I, I, I didn't see. We have whatever that is. 
and whatever that is um, comment down below I didn't see those in the box when I picked up these but yeah so you know if you need a 500 brush roll I mean I can't promise all the brush rolls are going to be any good and there's no end caps I've primarily got them for the brush strips and yeah we now have three nice brand new ones in there we'll keep that box somewhat around as we go to the next one let's pull this one down what's in this box oh yes oh, I feel quite sad about this you know should we get started and I'll tell you what I mean first off we actually have a couple of Electrolux machine ends because you know the seal perishes like crazy um, they were just laying in the box so I've got a couple of those now Look, brand new genuine bags I mean you saw in the video how many there actually were and you know <laughs> I have just a small amount here there's a turbo power one more hoover they'll be the same another hoover one and there's more elsewhere this isn't just bags and stuff there's other bits in here we have what I believe are a set of wheels for like a hoover compact or something again look look handy enough where's the the label look oh, I have to pause and read that whatever the part number is on there ha ah, anybody need a Hoover Junior lens have one of those and it's not broken as well oh lots and lots and lots and lots of bearings like through ones I don't know what these are from but they're bearings <laughs> I think there might be constellation. No, no, and a nice end there. I have to, have to get the part numbers written down, folks, and we'll have to work out what it is we actually have. We have, oh yeah, no, I knew there'd be more. Look, this one, however, is a genuine Electrolux brush roll. Complete. Ah, yes, then. <laughs> Where are we with these? Well, they're all, again, genuine Electrolux brush rolls. We have several for the glider and the contour and the six on two. In fact, these all fit each other, except this look, which fits the power system that we used to have, which I gave away to another collector, so he can have that. But yeah, look, more genuine brush rolls to go in our brush roll box. You cannot find contour or glider brush rolls anymore so I'm going to keep one we'll give the open tacky tall one to the guy who's having the 612 bit and call it done look more genuine Electrolux brush strips but genuine look bristle inserts that was quite cool I liked that what else have we got we, I picked up this and I think I felt sorry for it more than anything equally it might fit my 302 I didn't find the orange trim piece but a uh, brand new never been used I assume completely genuine if not it's a very good pattern part front door for Electrolux and ah, look here's some hot point bits for our good friend Richie we have two brush rolls bearings end caps all sorts of look, all genuine hot point spares for the chap who commented on a video look nice genuine original what even is it it's a baker light oh, it's a brake element who knows what that's for but yeah look end caps for the brush rolls in fact they are twin turbo ones but not that era we'll keep that there what else is there yep basically just a few brush roll end caps two of those brake things and two nice genuine brush rolls so that was a nice time sat there we know I think I've got the world's biggest single stash of Hot Point Junior parts in my loft. Oh, ah yes. 612 bumpers again, I know. Not 612, yeah, four, yeah. They, they go with this one. They'll fit on there, I think. No! They don't, you know, well, I thought these were for that. Okay, well, um, I, I had two random bumpers. Any idea what they are? Ah. <sighs> I might finally do my Electrolux 65 look because I found four brand new handles for them. They always snap off. In fact, one of mine has. So that's cool. 
here look we have some genuine I think Hoover Constellation filter clap clamp things clamp things they were quite cool the back end for some sort of Electrolux again I think it's a 65 ah, and this look this this funny thing which is I think some sort of automatic floor tool I mean where did we put that it looks very similar doesn't it and I don't quite know what it's trying to do be these aren't buttons but it looked cool so I picked it up and well we've got another box emptied oh we've got so far yet done so right what else is there well this is actually something from my good friend Joe it is a set of delightfully I didn't see it. That's probably not a bad thing. Delightfully lovely vintage, yeah, actual vintage Hoover tools for a coffee can. And I saw he was selling these for a fiver. And I went, yeah, I had these. It will probably make me now actually fix up and do my coffee cans because I can, you know, use the tool sets for them. Of course, the whole thing is completely and utterly destroyed, as they always are, sadly. I mean, I think this bit goes in there. I'd imagine it'll do that and then come up like this. Where does this tool go there? I think maybe. You'll go there. Yes, Felix, I know what's going on. You'll go there, and that's already a lot better. Well, of course, the box is trashed, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, a nice set of Hoover Dustin tools. Um, oh look another, oh this is another, ah, well, ha, this is my SIBO sign book. This was just sat on the wall and he went, do you want this? And I went, yeah, so I now have a very tall sign that says SIBO performance on it, aren't I? Aren't I ever so lucky? I thought we had an empty box, but it seems we've done, which is a shame because we have more ball work stuff to go through. So, oh, bring you down so you can see a floor. And we'll get it out and put it back in again. We have a number of parts actually for the ET 340 style head base plate. That's the motor surround. Yep, the little circuit board. No wheels yet, which is a bit of a pain, but hey, we have some spares of those. What else do we have? Oh, wow. Um, well, that's the outer shell for one of those other motor covers. Here we go, we have most of, some of, part of an ET340. We've yeah, got some brushes, although we have many of those. Yeah, ET340-3. Um, good. Ugh. Head new, September the 28th, 1993. Wow, what a, what a difference a couple of years makes there, eh? Right? Um, oh, wow, I've not been through this box. So you know that every type of nut, bolt, screw, washer from every ball work ever. Oh wow, two handles, some sort of PCB. Oh gosh, another brush roll motor in there, look. Full of perishing rubber, how lovely. Oh no, Felix, and then just a whole bag of just everything. I don't, oh look, all the... Oh, and it's got a hole in it. Oh, wow. Well, we might have to find something with this. Yeah, but another ET340 head and another handle. This is probably erring on the sort of stuff I don't particularly want to keep. But for now, I will. So I'm going to, oh, I guess, put it all back in the box and then we'll move on because oh, there's, there's even more Vore work stuff here. Oh, I just sorted out all the Vore work stuff and now we need to tidy up. So I thought, what better thing to do? than to put the 38mm tools on the little 300 watt pneumatic NV MP190 NX and there, put it in low. Ha! <laughs> it's doing it. Yep, the stuff's going up the one. It feels like nothing, but let's turn it up. Oh, there we go, look! Yeah! Doing all right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> At 
absolutely fantastic. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, it needs the 2,000 watts of the CDT to best do it. Oh, right, let's carry on. Well, we'll start with this crate. Since it's on the floor, this is actually more stuff than my friend Joe. We have, ah, this is a 121. What are we? Yeah, no, 120 with, I think, yes, it has a motor in it. And it's really good, but hey, that's certainly the most complete one we have seen. Right, what did we get from Joe then? We have this lovely Hoover 427 look with its two back wheels, but not its front. It's a weird back cord hook thing going on here. How do we get into this thing? This would have been outside for a very long time. Yeah, it's, it certainly is quite filthy, but not rusty, which is what made me really want it in the first place. Oh dear, the hose in net is all busted up. Right? That's, that could be a bit of a pain to sort. But overall, yeah, I, I thought this would make quite a nice little project. Ah. There we go. I think it has its flex. Sort of, it's all wrapped up looking the back end. Ah, of that Electrolux. That's good then. We might be able to put something together while it look. You can see where it's smashed itself off. And yeah, look, it's been painted. It's been painted actually very nicely. It's why I quite want to, you know, see what it's like. Cord room is completely busted up. Oh my goodness. That's we don't need to care about that too much. What have we got on here? Ooh, we have a very grim looking Marbo plug on the Electrolux. Look! A very grim looking Electro plug on the Hoover as well. But that's cool. I like that. I reckon that could be a good little fun project for us to do one day in the future, maybe. Or if you want to buy an old Hoover, do let me know. So yeah, that's one of the machines that I got. I also got, ah, oh, well look, there's the other end of the machine end, which is why I'm thinking it might be broken off inside of it, and this bit's removable hopefully. Oh, look, there's, ah, well there's the back frame for the Electrolux, and one of the pedals. Well, we should be able to piece some of it back together. We also now have a pan converter for something. Two nicer sets of ones than I have. One set to go with that Hoover, and one set to keep because I like to have a set around again. You know, two just, just nice bent ends, really, because we can now make a hose for our old Hoover. So you may as well go straight into there, and that can be your box from there. Next up is this very. Yeah, they're all very exciting, but this particular very exciting box. We have yet another four work outer shell, but things get much, much better after that. For you see, yes, we now have a proper automatic head for the Electrolux 330. That is the grey that they should have come in. Ah, I know I picked up two of them. Look, this is it compared to an Electrolux Auto Magic Head. I don't know why I put the other one there, but yes, we do now have three, so that's very nice. Oh, wow, where are we going to put everything? Just put everything here. That's very nice, that's rubbish anyway. I have this Tosal Barte Escobar Aspira. Yes, I picked it up. I, it just looks amazing. I mean, oh, we probably can't test it actually because the Pneumatic doesn't have its 32mm tools. Yeah, a little bit yellow, that one. Not one, but two Electrolux turbo heads. Yes, one of them. I think I'd need a black one, ideally, but I don't care. For my Z380, and I mean, I'm sure all the other ones would have had it as an option. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, this is where all that went. Some paperwork. Any one, there's just lots of Nilfisk stuff really that needs to be scanned in. And there's, there's some more paperwork somewhere, so I'll pop that up there. Ah, this to fix the uh, this 
this to fix that so we can at least maybe possibly do something with it again brand new never opened until just now Vorwerk, although I think we can adapt it to 32mm floor brush look at that I thought that was quite cool I mean I can't imagine it's very nice to actually use on a Vorwerk but hey you know me and my floor tools <laughs> we found just a couple look I mean, one two three four five six and we put those back Electrolux Z65 filters and again I can now possibly do something with my Z65 that's very nice indeed picked up this 330 front end if anybody needs it really <laughs> I don't have much use for it but I picked it up oh gosh look another Hitachi hose end fantastic a Hoover Senior lens might have to go on eBay and this is where things start to get little and bitty because we found the gentleman's sticker collection look these will be genuine hoover stickers look this one oh ah, okay well that was no good but that's the transfer look for hoover junior 119 okay that's no good don't want to peer all of these because i picked up things like this look that size and that side and my idea and again if you can help me with this please comment down below is just to get some really good scans done of them and get them reproduced because that's obviously the size we need, I mean, that's a you know, big constellation slash senior size. This is the normal one. So, yeah, we've got some stickers there. There's another one there. Sure, somebody asked me once if I had a twin turbo hose. I don't, but I now have a twin turbo hose end. Oh, yeah, we, we found a whole bin look full of rubber ends. So I didn't even need to pick up these ones at all. So that should more than keep us for now and then yes some more filters but this time for things that we own look two packs for the turbomatic very nice indeed i don't know if the after video of that's come out yet but who cares uh where are we where are we where are we at 612 filters although these may be destroyed inside because there's a black one and a white one in each of these packs. <laughs> I don't know what is it. So I've got three for my friend. And yeah, look, another. Although well, this one's actually open, which is saying a little bit of a shame, doesn't really matter. Look, some wide track filters. We may be needing those fairly soon. Oh, getting back in there later. And a nice set of filters, because I still have my Z2000. So now we have a set of filters for a Z2000. That's another box empty. Oh, we're doing really well now. I've got a Hoover and an Electrolux box on the go. Right, let's take one from the sofa because I am <laughs> struggling to remember what's in here. Oh, goody, look, more full work stuff. Over a couple five boxes of full work things. Ah, oh, but again, this one has its motor, so maybe quite worth it. Oh, more of these flipping heads. Flex with a handle and some very trash looking modern plug on it. <laughs> An ET head that has been painted. Okie dokie. Although, again, I don't think this will fit my one because it's the plug in variety. But you never know, it might have a better motor. Than my one. Oh, look, there's some newspaper. Can we date? No, because there's no top of it. Or is there? It's here, look. When was this packed up? What's on? It's 2003, so not that old. A base plate for a 340. Another bag. Clip bellows thing. Yeah, nothing that exciting in here. But I can probably now condense this into some other box. Right, let's not get a ball like box this time. Let's get a... Oh, we've, we've got two for work, two normal. So we'll do the really fun box first. This one that says Electro Mode Sport Component. It's not that at all. Okay. Lots and lots of stuff. And the first thing that I immediately went, I have never seen one of these before, is this Aquavac floor head. Never been used. I probably 32 millimeters, but wow. That's just amazing. A set of Turbo Master belts. No, who've seen your belts even? I thought they're Turbo Master, but no, look. 
They can go with Auntie Janet Senior into the Hoover box. You go. These are the rubber switch plates from the really old machines, and I know that at least two of my coffee cans. That is really, really perish, so that's good. Oh, it's this box. I now have, and again, we didn't even really scratch the surface. If I have brushes for 262s, 160s, the flat belt Hoover Juniors, a uh, set of brush back belts, because I have a couple of those somewhere, or Dorian does, one pack, two packs, uh, three packs, four packs, <laughs> five packs of Hoover 119, 1224 and 375 brushes. Very nice indeed. There's another set of Starlight ones. Look, a couple of handle bales because again we've had occasion where they're all worn down into nothing. So two nice new ones of those. Oh my goodness, what brush roll is this? Ah, this is a Hoover Junior brush roll. The flat belt, but the activator type. That could be quite fun. See if we can perhaps fit that. Tonight, you're going to fall one day, but for now, oh yes, we're going to need a back box. That's this box. That can stay there. Look, another pack of 262 brush strips. A random one there. Ah, quite a lot, and again, a lot of people have been asking for these. I now have just a couple. These might go on eBay. A huge selection of 375 and 370 belts. That's going to be very good. Oh, I had to pick one of these up. Look, it is brand new, Gen uh, not genuine, brush roll for a Hoover Senior. Look at that. This is definitely going to be for the Art Janet's one, I think. My beautiful 652A. One day, one day. And now, this is all that. Phoenix! This is all Vax, and there are some cans of Vax. Stain Solution High Foam Mousse would have originated £2.50. Oh, no, it is very foamy. Look at that. And then, yeah, you would rub it in and then vacuum it up. One can, two cans, three cans, four cans of that. We have some spill absorption crystals. We'll just a couple of tubs of those. Nothing too much there. I had to pick up a couple of these because, again, I've been asked about these a lot. Yes, these are the adapters to fit a paper bag to your Vax tub. And again, I didn't want to be greedy and get all of them, so maybe I should have done it. Who knows? But we have, if I can get this one back in its box, one, two, three of those. Nah, I had to get two of these. We're going to try one out. Maybe when we shampoo the rug. Phoenix off. Maybe when we shampoo the rug lock. And then the boxes are a bit knackered. But it is the Alarite Vax. Like proper expensive fancy full of chemicals solution. There. Yeah, for use with Vax 3-in-1 and other extraction machines. I don't, I imagine it's got a seal on it. Yeah. Do we break? Oh, well, it's already fallen off. Look. Oh, very nice. Oh, okay, well, we've got one of those, two of those. Very nice indeed. Ow, there's a piece of vault work under my foot. There's one of those. Well, there was one of those on eBay. Whether they're still those or not, I don't know. But I picked up two packets of bags for it. So who knows? Maybe one day we will get one. Again, there were maybe 50 of these. I got two because I didn't want to be... A complete greedy sod. Ah, look, there's the other half of that random brush strip. Another small belt. And again, it's been painted, but that is pretty much what those plates were. Only this one has a nice corner. So that's good. And then I got just a couple, because I don't think I've ever seen so many in one place before. Vax 121 Solution Tube Clips. So yeah, £10 each. We have a couple limited stocks available. So yeah, that is some pretty cool vac stuff i mean I, I, i've got my one two one still but yeah i can't i don't think i'll be collecting all these i'll probably be get passed on at some point although we'll certainly use one of those other right oh, just said one two roger 
Who knows? He doesn't have a car. Wash his demos. Right, we've had a good box. Now, I'm afraid it's time for another Vorwerk box. We've got to get them done, folks. We've got to get them done. So, we have an ET20 hood. Oh, another ET340 top. And cable with, um, well, I mean, I mean, we might get a nice fuse out of that one. That's probably about it. Oh my word. Um, yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of random Vorwerk stuff, half of which is probably just trash. Who knows? The entire base base assembly from at least one of those star heads. Ah, look, the bottom end of a 117. If you need one of those. Um, oh wow, whatever the heck that is, doorbell, I think it's door with the posters that came for me whilst I was out, where were we, oh look, there'll be another, another back cover, some sort of dirty, but yeah I think actually, ah that'd be one of those bumpers before then, one of those, and then just more stuff really, just stuff, Stuff. Brush rolls um, for something, probably a ball work. A motor, actually a brand, no, not a brand new motor. Oh, wow. Just so much things, really. And most of it I don't actually need, so I'll probably put a post up on some social media somewhere. So if anybody wants any of this work stuff that I seem to now have, oh, wow. Oh, I'll stick it on eBay for 99p, but with posted pictures. Where this was on eBay, I have to be at the same place. But they wouldn't post it, so we would never have done it anyway. Right, we're going to have to go through the last ball work box now, because the last box is fun stuff, so we may as well get... Look, five! Five boxes of ball work. So, more heads and bits and heads and... Motory stuff, look there's just all the brush rod motors and the end caps and another flex and another, oh wow, 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 ah, actually I think we might need one of those for one of our broken heads, so this box might not actually be too bad, look there's like an entire brush roll assembly, motor assembly in here, um, still haven't actually found any solid wheels, is a little bit. Oh. I think we might be able to actually make ourselves, I mean it would have a terrible case on it, but we might be able to make ourselves a complete head one day, maybe. I don't know if it's worth it, or not really. In there you go, because we are down to the final box, and then well, we have these mystery envelopes to go through which we all got a couple of so i sort of know what it is but this is the last box that i put together when i'd already paid up when i'd already put stuff in the car we obviously kept looking and i think i actually might wash my hands because there's some you know there's some there's some cool stuff in here it doesn't want to get filthy so this has everything in it everything and anything first out are yet more Hoover senior belts. I'm hoping that these might last a bit longer. If not, you know, I don't think I'd pay literally anything for them. If not, it was pennies. So who knows? These are actually going back to all work stuff. The brand new clear windows from the ET whatever it is head. So that's cool. I'll put that in the back box for now. Oh yeah, and there were a couple of the buttons that go on the bottom of the body, so that's cool. Two packs of Type A bags from a closed down vacuum cleaning repair shop in outer London, so that's cool. We can put that with, oh, I've got a Concept One and a Decade 80, so that's nice. Some bags for, and I really must do something with it now, the Phillips, I'm sure that'll fit the Phillips that I have that's up in the loft, that's quite cool. Some Electrolux, again, Z. 2,000 bags, just because it's quite nice to have them really. And then, then we found this, look. And again, it's all been stored 
quite badly, but these are all I'm something Henry's. We might have to open from one. And one, two, three, four. I mean, yeah, it's just just loads. They were just sat on a table. What actually are these? Oh no! Put that on my front door. Look, I'm a Henry dealer. Oh, you know how I love our emphysaria or however it is you pronounce it. So, yeah, there's some of those. Look, we have. Yeah, didn't want to get crazy. We got some some of the stickers with the old style now in glorious Technicolor, and then some other style of I'm a Henry dealer by the looks of it. Oh yeah, look this one and that one. So window stickers. I might have to stick one on my house. But yeah, they were they were worth saving. And again, there were there was just so much more left. We didn't want to take everything and everything because other people would do it as well. I found, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I would know somebody who has one of these, look, a belt for a goblin housemaid, uh, <laughs> some bags which may or I don't think they will fit my CV50D, but it does say they will. So, you know, I have two machines, two packs of bags, that's some more Electrolux 612 bags to go with the other 612 stuff, or we're sadly getting to me again. Um, some packs of bags for Goblin Acrovac, yeah, I've still got me 620, so who knows, really, <laughs> pallets are the thing, we have to take them, oh yeah, these, in case they do fit my Hitachi Stowaway, I'm not entirely sure they do, but I don't actually know, <sighs> one more, the four work buttons, and then these, which again, were by the stickers, there's, there's several of them, and what they are, don't think that, I think that's been printed on. Have you seen the light? Why not click on to pneumatic.co.uk? Yeah, that little pneumatic international. Oh. Matchbooks with little matches to go with it. Maybe we should just throw this at everything and not have to tidy up after ourselves. So that's cool. I like that. I've never seen that before. That was, again, the last box that we got when we were doing sort of everything else. And then what is left is all of this, which, yeah, I was handed them. I put them straight in the car because we were packing the car. Don't know what they are. They are brochures, look. And paperwork. Oh, wow, what have we got? <gasps> we have the Hoover Commercial brochure now. I've got scans of all these, but I've never actually had the proper ones. Oh, look, the commercial brochure, look. Commercial Hoover Pure Power. Ha 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 ha. That's cool. He did say some of these might be dupes, and I think a lot of them are. But yeah, look, we have oh, so much cool, amazing stuff, really, that I'm going to go through properly another day, and you'll certainly see them all scanned in. Ah, oh, good old Hoover brochures. What a lovely gift. I didn't even see these. You must have put these right out of the way. Yeah, and I, I would imagine then that what's in here <laughs> is also some brochures. There's always brochures and other They're probably identical, actually. <laughs> so, hey, maybe this could be a giveaway if they are really identical. This one is bigger, though. So I don't quite know. Oh no, there's definitely some different stuff in here. Oh wow, 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 wow. Oh. If you have a floor, Hoover has the cleaner. Oh, oh, I mean, those. Has anybody ever seen one of those in the flesh? Doubt it. Wow. I, yeah, I, I imagine there's probably going to be some duplicates in here. I can see one already. But this is beautiful, really. Absolutely Amazing! Oh, they're quite rare, I'd imagine, especially in the UK. Oh, oh, oh! How fantastic is that? So I think that brings us to the end of video two of Becco being let and run loose in a closed-down vacuum shop with a wallet full of cash. Um, you're probably going to see a lot of this stuff throughout the year. I mean, if you uh, specifically want us to go through anything, please do let me know and I shall work it into the schedule perhaps. But yeah, a lot of this stuff was just, you know, stock for things I have. A lot of it was stuff I had to take, otherwise they wouldn't have let me have the other stuff, like the forework. 
and lots of bits in between. So what's been your favourite part of the first video? Yes, the first video and all this video, do let me know. I think, I don't know really, that's probably the rarest thing I have. But I don't know really, things like those brush strips and stuff, I can now, you know, perhaps we can have a play with an old 119 again. Oh, I'll just sell the lot and let other people sort their machines out. But either way, we did a save. And now we've got to do something else with everything else. So, wow. Oh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I and this stuff will see you soon. Bye-bye.